Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides hundreds of copy and paste code snippets for Squarespace website designers to use on their clients' websites. Today we are going to look at how you can use Google Analytics goals to track Squarespace landing page conversion rates. So just a note, this is different than what you would do if you wanted to see how your ads were converting using Google Analytics. This is specifically for landing pages. And that is because you can use UTM parameters in order to track that and set up campaigns in Google Analytics. That's the best way or the way that I like to do it to just compare my information from like a Facebook ad and what Facebook ad is telling me. Um, obviously with the um, iOS updates and things, it doesn't track everybody where Google Analytics um, has different ways of tracking. So I like to use both to track my ads and see how they're converting, but we don't use UTM parameters for regular pages in Squarespace. So this is how I track my conversion rates when I have a freebie or a product landing page or something like that. So if you found this video, I'm assuming that you have some sort of freebie or product that you are trying to um, sell or give away, build an email list. And so you have some sort of landing page that people are coming onto. Um, so for example, you could have something like this where you describe um, the product, maybe you give some benefits of the free guide, and then you have a sign up um, that people are going to do. So either this is maybe a form in active campaign, maybe it's a newsletter block and you're using scores campaigns. You have some way of collecting an email address um, in order to you know, push people through your funnel. So I've created a freebie page. I'm going to then go into the advanced tab of a page settings. And in here, I'm going to type style and then header, comma, footer, bracket, display, none, end bracket. And what this will do is it will um, hide the header and footer on this page so that they have to sign up to your newsletter block. I might have a button at the top that uses an anchor link to bring them down and so on, okay? Then you're going to need to create a freebie thank you page, right? And this is a page it's going to redirect to in order to say that they've converted. So after they filled in the newsletter block, it's going to send them to this thank you page. Okay, then on here, sometimes I'll send them to my blog or ask them to join a Facebook group or what have you. Um, but it's just a congratulations that you've, you know, here's your freebie, it's on its way to your inbox, maybe it has a download button on the thank you page or what have you. But in order for this to convert, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to track page views of the thank you page and see that that is a conversion for us. Um, that's a goal of our site. And then we're going to see how well um, this freebie page sends people to the thank you page. So you've created a freebie page, you've created a thank you page. And what I'm gonna do is go into the page and in the newsletter block, if you're using a Squarespace newsletter block, I'm going to go down to the post submit and I'm going to have it redirect after submission to my thank you page. Okay, so that way when they submit this, they go to the thank you page and Google Analytics is gonna note that as a goal or a conversion. If you've done this on an active campaign or something like that, you'll have to do that inside of active campaign. So I'm going to make note of my URLs. This is slash freebie, and my thank you page is freebie-thank-you. And inside of analytics, I'm going to click the admin panel and go to goals, and I'm gonna create a new goal. And I'm going to name this freebie conversion. You might want to be more specific with that, especially if you have more than one freebie. Okay? And I'm going to set it as a destination. And I'm going to set this equal to the freebie thank you page. Now yours is going to be on a live domain, so use your live domain, not your Squarespace domain. This is just a trial site, so I'm going to use just the um, URL that Squarespace has provided in here. And then I'm going to turn the funnel on because the first step is our opt-in page. So I'm going to say freebie opt-in page. 
and I'm going to use the URL of my freebie page. Okay, so I've set the goal type to a destination. The goal is I want to send people to the thank you page. That's what is going to be my conversion. I know if they've gone to the thank you page that they've signed up. And the first step of that funnel is the freebie opt-in page. Okay, and then I can verify this goal. It's going to say 0% because it's a trial site. Um, and then click save. So now you've set up a goal of freebie conversion. So what you can do is go to behavior, site content, landing pages, and you're gonna search for your freebie page. Okay, so it is containing slash freebie. And what will happen is you'll see that page come up here and you'll notice over here you have your conversion and it will tell you how good that page is at sending people to the thank you page. So you can see your percentage, you can see the actual number, um, and you can assign a value if this is a product or something like that. You can assign a value in your goal um, in order to see the value of that. But in terms of conversion, we're looking at this percentage. So what percentage of people that land on this page end up going to the thank you page? And that will tell you your conversion rate. And you can do the same thing to A-B test landing pages. So if you're comparing landing pages and seeing which one converts better, then my only difference is I wouldn't set up the funnel portion of that goal. And I would look for what those two landing pages have here. And I can save this as a report. So each week I would come in to my saved reports and look at this and then I can compare my landing pages and see which one is converting better. So again, to wrap up, you're going to create a freebie page and then a thank you page. And inside of analytics, you're going to set up a goal for that thank you page and use the behavior landing pages in analytics to see how well that page is converting for that goal. And that is how you use Google Analytics goals to track Squarespace landing page conversion rates. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on my blog, make sure you subscribe for the freebie in the footer. That way you can be notified when another tutorial is posted.